Hi, and welcome to Healthy You TV. My name is Shanita Ann, and I will be your host uh, and chef for today, preparing a stuffed bell pepper recipe um, with vegan organic ingredients. So let me describe my ingredients for you. Um, as I said, the recipe calls for stuffed bell peppers. We're gonna use green um, bell peppers, if you like yellow or red, to your flavor. Um, now for the actual stuffing, the main source of our texture is gonna come from rice cauliflower. It's um, usually just chopped, that's why it's called rice, and that's a cup of cauliflower. We have some rice preparing currently. Um, this is black rice, and it's about a third cup, and we have a third cup of white rice that'll be a part of our stuffing. Um, our next ingredient, which is really important for your flavor, um, I use pico de gallo if you would like to chop tomatoes and onions with a little cilantro to your taste, you can do that as well. But I like to use some fresh pico de gallo uh, for my flavor. Also, this is some pink Himalayan salt. Um, pink Himalayan salt has been coming around a lot. It's not a huge source of iodine, but it's great for your food and to watch your sodium. Also, ground black pepper to your taste. Now these are caraway seeds. These seeds here um, are the flavor that you kind of taste um, for those who have been eating meat. That's usually what they use to flavor sausages and things of that nature. But we're gonna use caraway to give us some different aromatic flavors. I have oil here. This is um, virgin olive oil, and this is actually coconut. Um, so the coconut is at room temperature, and that's why it looks a little chunky there. Uh, our last ingredient was the sun-dried tomatoes, and those were roasted in a little olive oil. Now, I do have some fresh ingredients here that also I'm gonna prepare along with the bell peppers. So we're gonna walk through it step by step, and I'll be able to, of course, um, cut the peppers and the onions and the small bell peppers together. So I just have two small bell peppers and two cloves of fresh garlic. The first thing, as I said, we have our rice already on that's getting steamed and soft. Um, when you're preparing the rice, I usually put a little bit, um, maybe half a teaspoon of the coconut oil in the water and a pinch of salt so it doesn't stick together. And that's the longest ingredient, so that's why it went on first. Um, the next part for our actual um, peppers is to prepare the peppers themselves. If you enjoy eating the pepper as the shell, you want to bake those a moment ahead of time. So we're gonna do that now. All right, so we're gonna prepare our peppers ahead of time. So again, I like the green pepper. Um, you can use the red or yellow to your taste. And what you wanna do um, essentially is carve out that top stem. So these have been washed and um, cleansed beforehand. So that's usually our first step whenever you work with any fresh vegetables. But they're firm at this point, so don't be hesitant. And you see we still are going to kind of scrape out those peppers and seeds um, because this is actually gonna be our dish um, and bowl. It will serve as two, but be a great source of vitamins um, in this dish. And now I'm preparing three peppers, which would equate to about three servings. Um, of course, if you have a larger household and you wanna do six, the best thing for this recipe is to just double your ingredients. Um, so this is the third pepper here. And again, we just go along the top to make sure that we have the crown completely removed and we can scrape out the seeds. Um, so I do make it easy on myself and I hope that you will too. Just take a house spoon and when you go along the sides of the pepper, you wanna smooth it as much as you can and the seeds and the inside of that pepper will follow smoothly with just a household spoon. You don't need too much of the fancy instruments. Just something to make a delicious meal for you and your family. Now I have my baking dish here for the peppers. And again, this is the step that we're going to make sure that we do for the peppers in case you wanna eat them as the shell. So the peppers themselves are gonna go in this baking pan. It's about three inches deep. 
and of course um, with clean gutted out peppers hands washed you just put a little olive oil and then we're going to use salt and pepper to taste on the shell and we're going to put these in the oven on 275 for about 15 minutes to um, just warm up and get soft so you can actually enjoy the shell of the pepper And one good thing about, um, of course, vegan recipes, as you all are aware, is the nutrition. So having the um, stuffed peppers, actually, a lot of this meal is, as you will see, vegetable-based. Um, it isn't a lot of the rice. That's just our stuffing and the cauliflower. So you're going to have a lot of energy after this meal. And you're going to feel like you, you still feel satisfied. So we're just salting and pepper to taste uh, as much or as little as you would like. And we're gonna go ahead and place in the oven. Um, again, 275 to keep it nice and getting uh, warm, that soft shell, and we'll get it out in about 15 minutes. All right, now we have a moment to prepare our awesome and tasty stuffing for these peppers. So the stuffing, um, the main texture, as we said, is actually gonna be the rice cauliflower. So I'm gonna have a pan here ready and warm. And you can put it on medium to medium high. And actually we're gonna warm it in a little coconut oil. Um, you shouldn't have too much oil, just enough to warm it. So all in all, we used about a, a good tablespoon of coconut oil, so that's about half of it. Um, a little more than half is going to be used just to warm the cauliflower. And while the pan's getting warm, we're going to go ahead and prepare the peppers and garlic that you actually cook with the cauliflower. I chose a sweet pepper um, because I don't like spice too much, although I um, implore you to find peppers that you like for the color and flavor of your taste buds. Now, I um, don't use the spicy peppers because I don't like spice, but what I do use are the colorful peppers, and uh, one trick I had to find when picking my peppers are the different colors. The lighter you get, the usually sweeter it is. So the yellows will be a um, bit more sweeter, not as spicy, than the dark reds and greens. So that's just a little trick that I found when picking out peppers, because um, I can't handle the spice too much. So we're just gonna dice them. It doesn't have to be too fine. Now, the coconut oil is getting warm. So this is gonna be to saute our rice cauliflower. The rice cauliflower is just what it sounds like. It's just cauliflower chopped down. So you want to cook it some so it's not crunchy. So you use about a cup for this recipe and make it even on one, one layer, nice and smooth. That way you know each piece can be cooked through. Give that just a moment while we prepare our garlic. So I do press my garlic a bit, make it a little bit easier to work with. And I usually just cut it long ways and a few times short ways. Now, we're gonna allow this to cook maybe seven minutes, if that, um, just so everything is going to bake in the pepper together, but you do cook your stuffing ahead of time so that the flavors will be already cooked well down. And the peppers will sweat a little bit, that cauliflower will sweat, and you can put, put your heat back down to maybe a medium low 
while that's just getting warmed up, getting together. I like a little extra onion in mine, so I'm gonna use some. Although again, if you're going with this recipe and you have your pico de gallo already set and ready to go, there is no need for additional onion. But I like a little bit more. So I'm gonna use maybe an eighth, a slither of the onion, an eighth of a um, portion here. just because I prefer a bit more onion. So I'm gonna go ahead and prepare, let the onion get a little bit translucent and sweat with the rest of the ingredients. As I said, we're gonna give this about maybe five to seven minutes. Um, the cauliflower would, in all fairness, be that meat substitute. Um, so it's gonna turn a little bit brown, especially with the coconut oil, and that's just fine. You still wanna give it a few more minutes so it won't be too hard and crunchy. And while the stuffing is kind of sauteing there, what we're gonna use is our caraway seeds. Now this is really the flavor of the dish and we have a full tablespoon here. So we're gonna add our seeds. And you can start to get that aroma kind of come out once you add the seeds. All right, we are back. Uh, next, since we have our stuffing sauteing there for about five to seven minutes, we're gonna go ahead and add our pico de gallo. And that is about a good cup of pico de gallo. So a cup of cauliflower, a cup of pico de gallo. And the tomatoes aren't really gonna stew down. Again, the stuffed peppers will bake all together, but this is just so that the flavors can get together and know each other, cook for a bit in the pot. So we still have that on about a medium heat and we'll give them another two to three minutes to saute together. Okay. I do want to remind you all that our peppers, they were gonna be our shell and our bowl, so they are actually warming in the oven. Uh, in just a moment, we're gonna take our peppers out of the oven um, that was really moisturized with the extra virgin olive oil and seasoned with salt and pepper. Okay, I'm gonna go get the peppers. And now we are here to get our peppers ready for stuffing. Welcome back. Now, we have everything together. So here's actually the fun part. Our, we're going to go to our stuffing and then the actual pepper is going to live in that pan for another 30 to 35 minutes and get done. I just want to review all of our stuffing ingredients. So our actual secret recipe stuffing, we kind of went through that together. Black rice and white rice, and those are really gonna be to hold the pepper. So we're gonna go ahead and place our peppers now that they've cooled a little bit. The first layer is the actual white rice. Because again, white rice is just giving us that texture. Uh, I like to use a regular cooking spoon, again, just to show the simplicity of things, and it's the perfect portions for stuffing a pepper. So the wh white rice going in first, another thing that I noticed it does is it fills right in those crevices. 
it fills right in those crevices of your pepper. So you're not biting down and just getting a big hunk of pepper. So that's our first layer. Our second layer is this wonderful stuffing. And be generous with your stuffing. Pat it down with the spoon. Again, that'll make sure that we have a very voluptuous stuffed pepper. We're not eating too much pepper. Third layer, your black rice. And as you see, it, it is a very deep purple hue, um, but the black rice itself, it, it's not as um, soft. It, it's very textured, very firm, but great color, um, great health benefits. So we're gonna give a generous portion there of our black rice. Now, I like to add one more layer, and that's the sun-dried tomato, and then the white rice to top it off. I guess you can add, we're gonna add one more sun-dried tomato. Again, if you're not a big tomato household, you can leave that out, but we'll add one more for our presentation. Now, they do need time to be together, cook down, and that's a good 30 to 35 minutes. So we're gonna take them straight from our cooling rack, and they're still gonna cook here on 375. So your oven temperature will be nice and hot. And what I like to do actually is cover them with foil so that you get the steaming as well for the pepper itself to steam and cook itself from in. All right, so when we cover our peppers, you don't necessarily need to cover them um, with any holes, any, any other substances in there. You just cover them as is and make sure, cover it nice and tight so it can steam and cook itself. And we're going to heat it in the oven, 375 for about half hour. All right, so our stuffed peppers are on the way. Um, we have a little bit more ingredients here. You see that's gonna be our garnish, as far as our salt, pepper, pico de gallo, and sun-dried tomatoes to your taste. All right, we are back, and our stuffed bell peppers have been sizzling and baking for about 25 to 30 minutes now. So we're gonna grab them out of the oven. Safety first. And again, we kept that foil on there nice and covered so that all the flavors and they can steam together. All right, now we're gonna go for plating. Now, your uh, stuffing and rice may have a little bit extra. And that's okay, I did that on purpose so that you can have even something as a side to eat with it. I'm gonna grab this juicy guy here. And again, most people will have one pepper per serving. Um, that's usually plenty. And this was our additional stuffing mix. A little black rice. And a little of our stuffing mix. Now, I love tomato. So I'm gonna add just a bit more pico de gallo or just slice our tomatoes and onions, whatever you prefer. And I want you all to see, see when you cook that pepper through. So I'm gonna open it up there a little bit for you. And I like to have my pico de gallo right there, just ready to get a bite. So 
so I like that fresh crunch from my tomatoes too. It gives it that flavor. And I like a little, just a tad pinch of salt and pepper for my taste. And there you have the stuffed peppers and with the side of rice, black rice, salsa, um, and stuffed bell peppers. We will be right back and ready to prepare our second recipe, a delicious apple and kale smoothie. Welcome back. We are now going to prepare our apple kale smoothies. This is one of my favorites to get my day started, but we're gonna plan this now to go with our stuffed bell peppers. Just to show you what we have, um, each smoothie per serving is about an apple and a half. So I have some apples here, I use red ones. Um, I'm gonna garnish with a little mint and add some to give a little flavor. Also, a big part of this recipe is our kale. Um, this is actually Lacinito kale, so it's a little bit softer of a leaf and it adds a really good texture to our smoothie. We're gonna add some chia seeds, and this is a good teaspoon. It's gonna be our thickening agent and also give us that consistency. And this is stevia. By no means are we using all of this. We're gonna use about a teaspoon of stevia, which is a plant-based sweetener. So let's throw it all in there and enjoy our smoothie. As you see, I have my apples. Gonna make sure we don't get any seeds in there. I have my apples pre-cut pre and that's just so that they can get chopped up better. Of course, we start with the fresh washed apple and washed hands. And since the apple is usually the heaviest, I put that first in my, smooth, in my blender. And then we're gonna add our kale. So the kale is actually about three leaves per serving, so that's a good half a handful. Add another little half there. And then our dry ingredients. We're only gonna use about half of this teaspoon of chia seeds, and that's um, C-H-I-A, chia. <laughs> or maybe kaya seeds. And you know, tomato, tomato, we can pronounce it different ways. <laughs> but you'll definitely see it in your herb and spice section. And I wanna get a little spoon for this stevia so that um, you can see exactly how little. Stevia is very potent and powerful, natural plant-based sweetener. This is actually about a quarter of a teaspoon because again, we're just doing one serving. So you're gonna tap it down a little less than a quarter of a teaspoon is gonna go right in there. Now we're gonna add our water. And it's good if you can have a general rule of thumb that when you're making your smoothies, only about a third of your smoothie um, ingredients are actual liquid. And for our case, we're using um, bottled spring water. So that's perfect right there. So now we're gonna blend and we'll be right back uh, with our fresh smoothie and we're gonna taste our stuffed bell pepper. It has been a pleasure cooking with you all today. We have our final product, our stuffed bell peppers, uh, a little bit of that rice and sauce on the side for our dressing, but also just to have as a great side dish. And our apple and kale smoothie, you're gonna notice that thick consistency. Again, if you like your smoothies a bit more smoother, um, please, by all means, just blend it a little longer. I do want to thank you again for tuning into this episode of Healthy You. Please don't forget to find more recipes at www.healthyutvshow.com. Also on Facebook and YouTube, Healthy You TV Show. Again, it's been my pleasure. I'm Shanita Ann, um, your guest, Phil and Chef, a holistic health coach. Please reach out to me for individual one-on-one -on -one sessions on living a happier, healthier life at www.aboutme forward slash S-O-S-A-B, or Facebook at S-O-S-A-B, Inc. I look forward to tasting these wonderful dishes this afternoon and um, letting you know how they are. So I'm gonna have some. Now, this is just the size. Mm. I'm telling you, maybe I'm hungry. 
but that is so light and refreshing, it'll fill you right up. And I need a little something sweet. That's why I think this smoothie is perfect. Apple and kale smoothie. Mm. Keep that in the freezer for a few moments. It'll be a nice, refreshing treat. It has been great having you all here. I'm going to enjoy some more of these stuffed bell peppers and refreshing apple kale smoothie. I implore you to try this recipe and again, check out some more vegan recipes at www.healthyutvshow.com. Thanks, and I look forward to seeing you again on Healthy You TV.